Hi, and welcome to Crypto Bible News. In today's news, we will look at the following stories. Fed won't ban Bitcoin like China, says Jerome Powell. Visa working on blockchain interoperability, hub for crypto payments. Dogecoin co-founder reveals Ethereum bridge in progress to boost Doge adoption. Crypto trader said Bitcoin could make people millionaires 10 years ago, now living flash life with 10 million fortune. Before we get into the news, hit that like button, subscribe to Crypto Bible channel, and don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you never miss any of our news stories. Now, let's get straight into the news. Fed won't ban Bitcoin like China, says Jerome Powell. Fed Chair Jerome Powell differentiated between regulating stablecoins and banning Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell today told Congress he has no intention to ban cryptocurrencies as China has done. Powell's response came after questioning from the Republican Ted Budd, RNC, during a hearing of the House Committee on Financial Services on the response of the Treasury Department and Federal Reserve to the COVID pandemic. Is it your intention to ban or limit the use of cryptocurrencies like we're seeing in China? Budd asked the central bank's top regulator, prefacing it by quoting Powell's July comments that the creation of a digital dollar might make stablecoins irrelevant. No, responded Powell, clarifying that he'd been referring to stablecoins in his earlier testimony, not to all cryptocurrencies. Powell's been working with Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen on a draft of stablecoin regulations, which is expected in the next couple of weeks. It's not expected to touch on other cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are more volatile assets. The People's Bank of China has had no such compunction, recently ramping up its efforts to curtail cryptocurrency use, even as it experiments with its own central bank's digital currency, a digital yen. That has led to exchanges such as Huobi shutting off access to the 1 billion customers on mainland China, as well as powerful Chinese mining pools shutting down their operations. Law professor Rohan Gray, who helped draft the stablecoin tethering and bank licensing enforcement Stable Act, told Decrypt the US Fed has a different view than the PBOC. When asked what power Power and the United States Central Bank had to ban crypto, Gray said, on his own, not necessarily very much. But of course, if the Fed made its position that this should be banned, then it would set a clear marker and direction under the broader regulatory and congressional debate. Visa working on blockchain interoperability hub for crypto payments. Visa's new blockchain interoperability project is designed to serve as a network of blockchain networks. Global payments giant Visa has introduced a project that aims to be a universal adapter of blockchains that can connect multiple cryptocurrencies together, stablecoins as well as central bank digital currencies, CBDC. According to an official announcement on Tuesday, Visa's research team is actually working on a universal payment system. It's a UPC, Universal Payment Channel Initiative, a blockchain interoperability hub connecting multiple blockchain networks and enabling transfers of digital assets from different protocols and wallets. Imagine splitting the cheque with your friends and everyone at the table is using a different type of money. Some using CBDC like Sweden's e krona others preferring a private stablecoin like USDC, Visa wrote, adding that such a tool well may be a reality in the not too distant future with the UPC project. Developed by Visa's research and product teams, the UPC project is designed to establish a dedicated payment channel between the different blockchain networks. Connecting the CBDC networks between countries, as well as connecting CBDCs with private stablecoin networks. The Visa research team originally began working on the UPC concept back in 2018, developing an interoperability framework that would run independently of the underlying blockchain mechanisms. Ultimately, the UPC solution aims to serve as a network of blockchain networks, adding value to multiple forms of money movement, whether they originate on the Visa network or beyond. The announcement reads, One of the world's largest payment companies, Visa, made a major move in the crypto industry in 2020, partnering with blockchain form Circle One to support the USD coin, USDC stablecoin on a certain credit cards. The company has since reaffirmed its commitment to crypto payments and fear on-ramps, with a particular focus on stablecoin integrations. Dogecoin co-founder reveals Ethereum bridge in progress to boost Dodge adoption. Dogecoin's founder, or co-founder, recently revealed that an Ethereum bridge is being built to boost Doge adoption. An Ethereum bridge could see a rise in the utility of Dogecoin in the NFT and DeFi sector. The completion of a Doge ETH bridge would see greater compatibility with the Ethereum ecosystem. 
Dogecoin co-founder Bill Marcus recently revealed that the meme-based cryptocurrency would require an Ethereum bridge and inclusion by non-fundable tokens NFTs. Marketplace is in order to see mass adoption of this native asset, Doge. In a recent Twitter post, Marcus stated that the completion of an Ethereum Dogecoin bridge, as well as an NFT platform, including OpenSea, allowing for Doge to be used for purchases, would help Dogecoin. Since NFTs are rates in high demand with cryptocurrencies, enabling Dodge to be used for token purchases would increase its utility. The completion of an Ethereum Dogecoin bridge could see that asset eventually be integrated with the top ETH-based NFT platforms. In addition, the bridge would also enable users to send Dodge from its native blockchain to the Ethereum blockchain. This would also enable the meme-based Ethereum currency to transact into the decentralized finance, the DeFi sector. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin previously stated that it would be a bullish push for Dodge if an ETH bridge was created. Marcus further revealed that the Dodge stroke ETH bridge is currently being developed. Crypto trader said Bitcoin could make people millionaires 10 years ago, now live in flash life of 10 million fortune. A man who urged people to invest in Bitcoin at just 71p a piece 10 years ago is now living a lavish lifestyle. Fast cars, private jets, yacht trips with glamorous women are a day-to-day -day reality for smug investor Da Vinci Jeremy, who jumped on the cryptocurrency bandwagon before it actually became a mainstream event, allowing him to build his $10 million fortune, £7.2 million sterling. The Chilean software developer spoke about Bitcoin in his YouTube channel back in 2011, some 10 years ago, hailing it as amazing stuff as he encouraged people to get involved. Then, two years later in 2013, Da Vinci employed his viewers to buy Bitcoin for one dollar or 71 pence on the pound, advising they were more likely to have success than gambling on the lotto. Look, for the price of a lotto ticket, you can hold Bitcoin for 10 years and become a millionaire, he said. Mm. It's time to stop living in fear. If it goes to zero, you lose a dollar. Who cares? Mm. But if I'm right, I want all of you to thank me. It will not make me happy if you come back to me in 10 years saying, dude, I wish I listened back to you on 2011 or 2014. Fast forward to now, and Da Vinci did well to take his own advice as he's now leading a lavish flash lifestyle, which he doesn't shy away from, splashing all across social media platforms. Da Vinci has ridden the unpredictable wave that is the cryptocurrency market. He surfed it for a decade now, that he bought his first Bitcoin for back in March for 2011 for $1. At its peak, his portfolio held some 3,000 Bitcoins, plus a range of other digital currencies. By early 2018, Da Vinci had halved his portfolio, which he told the outlet was worth 10 million, 7.2 million pounds at its yeah. peak. And on that note, thank you for watching the news today. Yeah. Please don't forget to hit the like buttons, subscribe to the Crypto Bible channel, and don't forget to turn on the notifications so you never miss any of our news. Thanks for tuning in today. Join our Discord group. You can find us on all of the social platforms with the links below. They're in the description. Um, please leave your thoughts and comments below. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys soon.